In this project, I will show you how we can uh, create drop-down list, and then we can dynamically change the value of the drop-down by adding uh, more options to it. And to do that, we will use the keyboard. First, you will need to create a project. So, create a video. Give it a name. Select the LVGO version, in this case it's 9.1, so it's 9. Create. Set the size of the screen to 320 by 240. Set the uh, location of LVGO. And then click on the main uh, screen. Or set the width and the height delete the label now we're ready to add uh, GUI elements so find a drop down box there you go drop down give it a name cars We'll add car, name of cars. Uh, here's, here we add the options to the drop down. I will later on show you how to do it uh, dynamically. So let's say uh, Ford Mustang, Ford uh, Kia BYD. Tesla just to get started now if you run it you see it's been added now add a label give it a name label this is to show the the selection label show selection give it a name extend it by default it's by content so we'll set the label to pixel so we can extend this one all the way same size as the uh, drop down list add some default text or take it away to the matter now we'll also uh, add a text input text box so we can dynamically update our drop down list so first we add a text area give it a name uh, text, text area new options uh, because we want it to be just one line instead of multiple lines Come here in the specific section click one line. So it just shows you one line And we want to add the option when we click the button so add the button Call it button add option Ch Change the label so click on that Change it to the like add option. Just make it the same size as the uh, input box. Let's add a bit of space here. Let's just put the button here. That's it, now we are ready. We will also need to add a keyboard to enter uh, text. So we will minimize that a bit. Extend this.
move the button here change the button text to just add now at the keyboard so if you go there you see this keyboard add it here to give it a name but well, we won't we don't need the name but we keyboard uh, import make it into uppercase and then we can assign a text area so once you type it it automatically fills this so here we select our text area now if you run it you see as you type it okay Okay, GUI is ready. Now we will do the next step. The UI is ready, so we will have to first save and build. When you build a project, it will generate C files that we will need to copy over to our Arduino sketch. Now copy over all the C files. So Control A, copy. Go to your Arduino sketch that you create with the same name. Paste it. If you go to your sketch now you see all the C files have been loaded. On the screens.c you notice that this is where our GUI is created. The only difference here from the other uh, projects I've, I have uh, is this line. What it does is it associates a keyboard to a specific text area. Now if you go to your sketch you see this is just like a normal template nothing changes here in this case all that happens is initializes LVGL and then calls UI in it to initialize the easy studio project now I have registered a couple of event handlers first one is uh, we use this uh, function to uh, register events so it takes the in this case this event handler is for the drop down box, drop down list, and this is the event handler button get selected option. Event handler, maybe we should just call it get selected option event handler. Yeah, instead of button, it's not a button. So, all it's doing is saying for this uh, drop down list this is the event handler and this is the event it has to handle and this is the label we're passing that we will update like the status of what was selected if you go to this event handler you'll see it's just a normal event handler just getting the code the target checking the code is LV event value change if it's some if it's anything other other than LV event value change this code won't be executed here we're just uh, getting the selected uh, option storing it in a buffer and just uh, displaying it and adding it to the label so the label will say selected and the option next one is uh, the event handler is for button to add option once that here we once that button is clicked you will call this event handler and then you will check for this particular event and update this label so if you go to this event handler here 
here again this part is the same get the code the target that generated it in this case we're calling it button and all it's doing is it's checking first is uh, getting the the value from the text area so we use LV text area get text and this is the text area name ID that we edit while we're creating the GUI and check in here that it's not empty if it's not empty we will add it to the drop down list so first is getting uh, it's, it's checking if this particular option already exists in the drop down if it if it exists it will return uh, anything other than minus one if it doesn't exist it will return minus one if it doesn't exist we're getting a count of the number of items that already exist and simply adding our new option that we added in the text area to that drop down and then we just update in the label to say edit this option however if it already exists we just update in the label saying it already exists and if it's empty we just say nothing to add we reuse this event handler for when the keyboard tick is clicked like when we are ready to uh, in the keyboard we got the option to cancel and with the tick option to say send or ok so in this case when we click the tick option we will use the same event handler that we created for the button but in this case the event is called ready LV event ready now if you go to the event handler you'll notice instead of one event code we also have a second one here so this particular event is being reused for the button click and when on the keyboard we click the tick option the OK option and the last one is when we we want to cancel in the keyboard when we press a cross up cross to cancel uh, all we're doing is just if you go to the event same thing here get the code get the target that was generated in this case is the keyboard this can be anything this is like a variable so you can call it kebab for or anything but you have to make sure that if you use it you have to use that value so in this case because we want to you click and cancel we want to clear the uh, uh, the text area and also the label that set the status to empty here I just check in that is is the correct but uh, uh, code so it's, it's, it's not the tick instead of it's the cross that we clicked And yeah, that's it. If you click upload now, you'll see the final result.